In our second tutorial, we will learn how to teach our agent certain actions by using chat commands. We need our agent to turn on the redstone lamp, but it is a little far away and there is an obstacle. The board is once again here to provide our steps, so let's work through them. Let's open up Code Builder to access the Mako tutorial. Remember, you can do this by pressing C on a keyboard or the agent icon on a touchscreen. Just like in our last activity, the code here is already provided. We have a chat command block named move. Inside that block is an agent move block, which is set to one. Let's run this code by pressing the play button. You might have noticed that nothing seems to have happened. This is because we used a chat command. We need to send the command for the action to happen. Let's open the game chat. For me, that's pressing T on the keyboard. There's a chat icon if you're on a touchscreen device. In the chat, let's type the command move and press enter or hit the send button. There goes the agent. We are ready for the next task. There is a block of dirt in our agent's path. Let's help the agent break it. Open up the code tutorial. You're probably getting good at that by now. This time, things look a little different. We have a chat command called destroy, but there is nothing inside it. Let's fix that. Like the instructions tell us, we can click on the agent category, I call them folders, and drag an agent destroy block inside our chat command. If you do it right, you can see and hear it snap into place. Now we can run our code with the play button. Again, let's open the game chat, type destroy, and send it. The block was destroyed by the agent. We have one more task in this tutorial. We need the agent to move forward and turn on the lamp by interacting with the lever. That's two steps. Opening our code, we can see we have a chat command called interact and an agent move block inside it. But we also need the agent to interact with the lever. Let's go into the agent folder on the left and grab the agent interact block. Since we need things to happen in a specific order, we want to place it below the move block inside the chat command. Finally, let's press play one more time, open the chat, and type interact. That's it. You've completed tutorial part two.